Hello guys, recently I received a comment, a YouTube comment and an email related to the same topic so I decided to shoot a video on that. It's about JSON fields. So the question goes, I use JSON field, how would you save all the data? What would be the table structure for something like form builder for very dynamic data? And then a similar question in an email, a very long email, so you can pause here and read it all, but I will summarize it for you. So similar situation, survey system with different questions. Every question may be of different type, like text, rows, different options, and so on. And then the answers is the same thing. So 100 variables per survey, up to 30k respondents. And the question is, again, how to structure the data. And one of the option is to store it as a big JSON object for both survey itself and also for respondent answer. Or is it better to stick to the relational database? And at first I wanted to recreate that project to demonstrate it for you but that would take too much time. That would be a few days just to set up the survey with all of those options. So instead I decided to just share my thoughts on this like five minute video quickly about JSON fields. It seems to me that people misunderstand the purpose of JSON fields. They think, some people, that JSON is for any unstructured data which is unpredictable in the future. So you may have text fields, radio fields, options and stuff like that. And since you cannot really predict 100% what will happen in the future and the structure is pretty complex, then you may think to store that everything in the JSON. Then you don't have to worry about the structure. You just pass the array or object to the JSON and it is saved in the database. But the problem with that is JSON is cool for storing the data, but it's not cool to getting that data out and especially filtering the data and doing the queries, especially with stuff like joining a few different tables with JSON fields. Yes, if you take a look at the official Laravel documentation, you can do where clauses on JSONs, so you can do where within the JSON value, and there's also where JSON contains, where JSON length. But if we get back to the practical example in this case, the goal of the survey system is to get the results. And to get the results, you would need to compare the survey answers with survey questions and options and whether they are correct or not, if that's a quiz survey. If it's not a quiz, you would need to calculate the amount of answers per, for example, option, and then build a chart or a graph of how many respondents responded with certain answer. And with JSON field, it would be quite a pain in the neck to do that. And this is one of the topics I talk about in my course, how to structure databases in Laravel. This is not that much about Laravel, by the way. It's primarily about database structures, but with Laravel examples. So one of the lessons is about JSON fields, and I express my opinion there as well with practical example. But here for these examples, I would reiterate, I would vote for typical relational database with structure of like field type text field type, radio question, checkbox or something, and then field options, option ID, option value. If there are no field options, then that table would be just empty. If the question does not require an answer, then that column would be null in the database. Yes, the structure would be pretty big, but these numbers like 100 variables and 30k respondents they are not that big for MySQL not to handle them. It depends on what queries you perform and of course you need to put indexes in the database, but generally it's not that big of a problem. If you get much bigger than that, then of course relational database have limited capacity and maybe you should look at something like NoSQL, which would be a totally separate topic. But for majority of cases, relational database is the solution and you shouldn't be afraid of bigger structure in it. You just need to optimize the queries that you do. Of course, use Laravel debug bar or similar tools to check the exact queries that Eloquent runs. But then the question, what are JSON fields for anyway? And I found one example in a well-known package called Laravel Media Library by Spati. The media table that is powering all their package has a few JSON fields. So for every media file, like an image, there are properties, generated conversions like thumbnails and responsive images. And those are quite rarely used. By default, they are used only in those cases where someone needs a specific property and specific image. 
so there is no wear condition on those fields. So this is, in my opinion, a better example that illustrates the JSON fields usage. Maybe you would add more examples. Have you used JSON fields in your project where it totally paid off over the relational database structure? Share in the comments below your experience and let's discuss. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.